Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, a Batman DC Multiverse video, I should say, although it's not the usual person under the mask, which might be a good or bad thing, but it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, this is an early look at Two-Face as Batman. Good old Harvey Dent, wear the bat costume... Of course, right? Two-Face's Batman hails from the Batman Reborn, Battle from the Cow, storylines, all that jazz, right? He's inserted somewhere in there. Here's the barcode for this figure. Look for him to hit store shelves in and around the middle of July. Now, like I said, with Batman Reborn, it hails from the issue Long Shadows. And this is right around the time where they started to kind of tease everything, naturally, Two-Face as Batman, and... This particular Batman proceeded to pummel Dick Grayson as Batman. You'll notice right here in this artwork, he has a gold belt buckle, which DC Direct did do a figure, although it was a little bit of a goof. As you can see in this particular panel from the comic, he does not have that, but you can clearly see old Dick Grayson is loaded up with all sorts of tranquilizers, where it is then revealed this is all just a massive hallucination and Two-Face is actually not wearing a costume. He's just beating him up uh, with bat gauntlets, of course. But in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe flip a coin or two. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Two-Face as Batman. And of course, here is everything taken out of the packaging. There's not much to it, but I would say it's interesting to say the least. It's a decent enough variant to make a weird looking Batman, we'll just say. Now, he comes with several pairs of hands. On the black side, you got weapon holding and you got an open hand. And then on the red side, you got weapon holding and then a coin in said open hand, which is a nice touch. I gotta say, you can get him looking at it. Although, I wish the black hand did have a coin as well, and then they had a little bit of design where you could have the more roughed up coin aspect or just the normal version. That way he can probably judge his enemies or better yet, a flippin' flippin' coin hand. That would have been equally as awesome, right? Now, the figure itself is a repaint. And we've seen this body type before with the blue hush Batman, the black and gray Batman, but he has a new head sculpt. And it's pretty decent, if you ask me. I think it's pretty cool. I think it nails it. I think it really solidifies the weirdness of this figure. He has a little bit of a blue shade around the midsection, but it doesn't continue anywhere else along the black. If you'll notice the boots, the boots and the gloves, gloves quote unquote, we'll look at that in just a second, they have a more glossy paint, whereas the rest of the costume is then matte. But then we all know that there were never gloves sculpted on this particular Batman. It was just painted on, right? On the back side, he's got that clear cut line down the middle, which is nice. Breaks it up. It's very much a very interesting Two-Face as Batman figure. Peg holes on the bottom. It's got the same exact articulation you would expect for this figure that we've seen a dozen times. But I will give it to him, the sculpt is really well done, even though it is all one piece for the head. You'll notice the blue shading does continue on the barficated side. It's really well painted, he looks vicious, he looks menacing. It's disgustingly great. Everything else is the same. So if you want a creepy, weird looking variant Batman, this might be right up your alley. And as to kind of show you, yes, this is just a simple repaint, although, they do present enough new things to really break it up and call it its own figure. I like that they included a hand with the coin and you get a brand new head sculpt. But the articulation, everything is the same. So while this body type is not my favorite for Batman, it does work really well for a Two-Face as a Batman, if that makes any sense. And no, this is not the first wackadoo designed Batman that we've got. The Batman of Zurin Arg is pretty darn cool, and he kind of sort of fits well with this Two-Face as Batman. Now, if you have some extra weapons lying around, this Two-Face does come with trigger holding fingers. So, because Warner Brothers won't let you have the guns in the packaging, doesn't mean you have to stop and not properly arm this wackadoo Two-Face. Now, here he is lined up with the new Batman Nightfall figure. And I have to say, for the most part, they line up pretty good. Two-Face as a Batman, 
eh, it'll work as a bigger type villain. But of course, speaking about villains, I would have much rather had an actual Two-Face figure. Like I said, this is an excellent opportunity to repaint an already existing mold, put some new pieces on, some new parts, and essentially call it a new figure. I will honestly tell you, it's definitely not my favorite. However, when I did give him some guns and whatnot, it really did bring him to life a little bit more and gave me something to do with it. It's definitely not the Two-Face we all wanted. It's definitely not a recommended figure, but at least it is something different. And for some of you out there, it might be right up your alley. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. Got a few more DC Multiverse to look at. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.